Hi, I'm John Corvino. There seem to be a lot of conflicts involving wedding providers, bakers, florists, caterers, and so on, who refuse to serve same-sex couples. The first thing to realize is there are not actually a lot of these. They just tend to get highlighted in the news. And that's unfortunate, because it makes it seem like the worst problem facing gay people is the inability to buy cakes and flowers. That's not what anti-discrimination laws are mainly about. They're mainly about access to employment and housing and basic goods and services. The idea behind public accommodations laws in particular is that when a business is open to the public, it must serve the entire public without discriminating on the basis of race, religion, sexual orientation, or other core features of identity. That's what makes these cases different from, say, a kosher bakery that won't sell you a cake topped with bacon or a vegan bakery that won't sell you a real buttercream cake. These are not items that they provide to anyone. That's quite different from a bakery that won't sell a same-sex couple the very same items that they're willing to sell to a different sex couple. Okay, but don't these laws limit the freedom of the bakers? Well, yes, but that's true of lots of laws. I mean, the baker can't operate in the nude, even if they're morally committed to being nudists. They have to carry insurance, even if they think insurance is a form of gambling prohibited by God. If the bakery is of a certain size, they have to offer employees maternity leave and let them come back to work after they have their children, even if they think a mother's place is in the home, and so forth. All right, you might say, but what about the artistic freedom of the bakers? I mean, wedding cakes involve a lot of creative expression. Well, yes, but that's true of lots of jobs. My job as a philosophy professor involves a lot of creative expression, but I don't get to say, you know, I don't want to teach the conservative students, only the liberal students, because the conservative students will use the skills I'm teaching to further their right-wing agenda. When we enter the public sphere, we are bound by rules for the benefit of all. And I do mean all, because in places where these laws exist, they offer as much protection to conservative religious customers as they do to LGBT customers, sometimes more. They mean that the gay atheist can't refuse to serve the conservative Christian any more than the conservative Christian can refuse to serve the same-sex couple. So the next time you hear about one of these wedding cases, remember, they're not really about cakes and flowers any more than racial discrimination was about drinking fountains. They're about ensuring equal treatment when we enter the public sphere. Oh, hey, cupcake?